Ooh, hello and welcome to Space Time with Robert. I'm Robert. It's cold and windy out here. And that's a galaxy that you're looking at. That's the exploding galaxy down to the bottom left. M81 is what it's called. Up to the upper left is M82. Oh, let's make sure my camera's still working. Oh yeah. So it's, as you can see, the, the wind just knocked the telescope a little bit. It actually knocked M82 or M81 back into view. That's pretty cool. Thanks wind. Hello everybody. Yeah, we're just looking at some galaxies right now through a 10-inch Dobsonian telescope. Ooh, this, this wind is really helping us out, kind of. It's helping, it's making me, so I don't have to actually keep moving the telescope. And uh, once it dies down, uh, M81 should be nice and centered in the upper left there. Oh, that's cool. Uh, it's, uh, a little past midnight. I want to say it's like 1230. Yeah, I miss looking at the stars too. I really do. I was messing with uh, my telescope in the parking lot just the other day, and, uh, today actually, and someone started asking me questions and I started just going off about telescopes and I just was like, oh, I really miss going out to the docks and hanging out with everybody and just showing them space. It was good times. But you know, this is good enough for now, right? And so, yeah, that's M81 to the uh, left there. And let me see if I can get that exploding galaxy back in view. Oh, that's a big gust of wind, sorry. Ooh, wasn't expecting that much wind tonight. <clears throat> Hopefully that's the last of those gusts. If it ah, it's still going. <laughs> but, all right, so there's another galaxy. There's a couple more galaxies I want to show you, but actually, let's see if I can get that back in here. Let me see if I can yank this thing against the wind. Okay, and then I get that right there. Let's see. Okay, uh, it's a little off-centered, but you can see it off to the right there. That's that galaxy again, the exploding one. It's one of my favorites, honestly. I love it. So cool. Let me see if I can get it centered again. There, I think I did it. Awesome. Yeah, they call that the Cigar Galaxy. You can kind of guess why. I swear, I, I believe I am in focus. We've just got a long exposure and we're not tracking. So that's why the stars look a little blurry. All right, I'm gonna drop the exposure now. And we're gonna jump on to a different galaxy. We're gonna go to the, uh, the Whirlpool Galaxy. Let's do that, okay. Off we go to another galaxy. If only it was that easy. So I'm jumping on, oh, whoa, whoa, hang on one second. What is this? That's really pretty, whatever it is, those are stars. They're a little blue. I don't know why they're not showing up blue on the screen. They show up blue on mine. I think, I want to say that's Mizar and Alcor? Okay. Where was it? Oh yeah, Galaxy. Oh, big gust of wind. We got some light pollution too. Alright, if the, the telescope blows over, I'm sorry. Alright, I think I got... Another galaxy showing up here. Oh yeah, it's to the uh, upper right there. All right, I have to get over here to block out some of the light pollution. There we go. Now to the upper right, where uh, you can kind of see these two little swirly things. Those are uh, more gal. These are two merging galaxies, actually. Let me see if I can get in view better. And I'm moving the telescope by hand. Cool, cool, there they are. 
Yeah, just increase. Yeah, that's awesome. You know what? I'm just gonna leave it like that. You can kind of make out a little bit of a spiral structure there. I I don't know. All right, I'm really far away from the phone, so I can't see anyone's questions. I'm sorry, but whew, chilly out here. Let's see if I can get that back in view. Oh, that's so cool. And yeah, these are two galaxies that are colliding together to the uh, upper left there. All right, let's go and do a little bit higher exposure. And uh, I just have to stay in front of the telescope to make sure that the light doesn't get in there, the stray light. I should buy one of those stray light blocking thingies. All right, here we go with a three second exposure. Cool, now we can definitely see a little bit more of that spiral there. That's awesome. All right, cool, we got galaxies out of the way. We've done it. I've shown you one, two, three, four galaxies tonight. I'm gonna try and yank this. I think I went the wrong way. And next, I'm gonna jump on over to just like a... <clears throat> oh wait, isn't Mars out? Where's Mars? Oh, I don't see it. Darn it, I thought it was. All right, so let's go to another, or, or let's go to, uh, ooh, let's check out the moon. Let's do the moon. We're gonna lower the exposure big time because the moon's gonna be really bright. Here we go, we're going to the moon. And tomorrow, I'm gonna be doing this like pretty much all day. Or not all, I'm gonna try and do like three live streams. I'll do one at uh, 12 o'clock, or sorry, 2 p.m. <laughs> Get it together, 2 p.m. Oh, hey, hey. Is that the moon? Oh, she's dark. Uh, 2 p.m. Pacific time. Oh yeah, it does look like it's a little out of focus, doesn't it? That's still really cool. Shoot the moon! Yeah, alright, let's see if I guess it totally out of this world man thank you no thank you all right let's center that Ooh, wrong way Wind. and again we're looking through a 10 inch dobsonian a, a, a windy 10 inch dub Sony. All right, let's do that. Cool. Can you see the moon, Mars, and Uranus? Yes, I can see the moon, but I can't see Mars and Uranus. I know they're out tonight, but I think I might have a tree in the way. I don't actually see them anywhere. All right, we got the moon out of the way. I'm just going to see if I can zoom in real quick on the moon. Whoops. I kicked the telescope, my bad. She's super windy tonight, sorry. Let me see if I can change that focus. Oh, that's better. Cool, craters. All right, let's go to the Pleiades star cluster. All right, we should have some stars coming up here soon. Ooh, 
that's a lot of light pollution out there. Here, I'll lower the exposure just a wee bit. Cool. This is the Pleiades star cluster. Yeah, uh, Mars and, and uh, Uranus are sticking together over here, too. Uh, I'll try to make a picture tonight. Rebel, that'd be really cool. I would appreciate seeing that. That'd be really fun. All right, so here, here are the Pleiades. Next, um, we're going to jump on over to the Orion Nebula. It's always a popular one. Everyone likes that. Whoa, these are so cool. I love the little, the four points coming off of some of those stars right there. That's awesome. I'm not seeing a whole lot of color coming in on the phone, but we'll see about that when I show the Orion Nebula. There's no color there. Oh well, yeah, we got a problem. All right, here we go, Orion. And thanks for joining in with me. Even though it's like a windy night, I don't usually get clear nights. So I'll take a oh, windy, windy clear night. Heck yeah. Okay, cool. We got some Orion Nebula coming in now. Awesome. Looking pretty. A oh, big gust of wind coming in. That's a nice angle right there. Ooh, look at all that gas. That's cool. And I do see some purple on the phone, so we are getting some color. Awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for joining in, by the way. I got a little flag blowing here. I think it's gonna shake everything apart. Let's remove that, okay. Back to what we're doing. And thanks for joining in. We're checking out the Orion Nebula for anybody who's just joining in right now. And we're looking through an Apertura 8010 telescope. I'm gonna reposition this by hand real quick so we can see that again. That was really cool. Let me get it a little bit more to the left. How about Cool. There it is again. Wow, you can really just see so much stuff going on in the background there. It looks like it just goes on and on and on. Beautiful. Welcome to space. It's been waiting a long time to meet you. All right. I'm trying to think what else. What else we got? Tomorrow night I'll have the. Um, motorized telescopes after the the 2 p.m pacific time show i'll probably set up again at 7 p.m and that's when i'll go for the andromeda galaxy that's one that i'm really hoping to show off and uh also triangulum i've never seen the triangulum galaxy uh i tried to find the pinwheel galaxy tonight and i was unsuccessful it's it's hard but yeah, tomorrow night there should be more galaxies to show earlier in the evening. And then again, I'll come out a third time, way later, like again, right about midnight or 11. We'll do it all again and do this. But with a different telescope, with a motorized telescope. And so we'll have some tracking tomorrow night. But this is still cool. It's a little gusty, some wind coming in right now, so that's why it's, uh, we're getting some double vision. All right, anywhere else you all wanna go? I mean, we can try and check out Sirius. It's a really pretty big, bright star. 
and I'll do one more pass for Orion. Why not? Once Orion gets more towards the center there and starts to drift, I'll swing on over to Sirius. So yeah, if you've never seen the Orion Nebula through a telescope, hey, this is for you. No, this is not Andromeda, unfortunately. That should be tomorrow night at around 7 p.m. Pacific time here. Uh, I will be showing that through a different telescope. Through uh, Alice, or Meet ETX-80, it's a little baby telescope. Wow, that was a big gust of wind there. All right, let's go to Sirius. So cool. It's a little, little laggy. Let's see if we can fix that. That's so cool. I love Sirius. Let's see if I can get it. A little bit more centered. There we go. That big old Christmas star. I think we found the star of the show. I see a lot of blue on my screen. I'm not sure if it's translating through the live stream. And here, I can show you what it looks like when it's not so bright. See, that's, that's it. That's that little star right there. Hee hee. That's so cool. <laughs> I love that. That's so awesome. Serious. Wow. Wow, oh wow. Yeah, um, Sirius is a very hot star. I think it's also a binary. There's uh, a little star that's nearby. Adding to its brightness. Yeah, hot diggity, that is a beautiful bright star. Wait a minute, there's other stars out here. Let's check them out. How about we check out Beetlejuice? Um, that should show up a little bit red, right? That star has recently been um, changing in its brightness, too. So let's go to, yeah, let's go to Beetlejuice real quick. Bye, Sirius. You were beautiful. We love you. Betelgeuse. seeing too much red in there oh there it is when I when I dim it I think I can start to see the red that's awesome hey who said you can't say it three times don't say his name three times it's against the rules Beal just Beal just beat out oh, oh. Awesome. Heck yeah. 
Wow. Wow. Stars. Who would have knew? Who would have thought? All right. <clears throat> Let's check out. Uh, Let's see if we can see the flame nebula. Fla flame, I'm getting cold, obviously. Flame nebula. So over here, there should be a big old bright nebula out here. Or not big, big, it should be very faint, actually. Oh, I don't see, I don't see it at all. Am I even aiming at the right star? Come on. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, we, I can see it on the phone, but I can't see it on my screen. That's not fair. There it is. Just to the left of the star, you can barely make out this uh, faint, uh, well, you can't make it out when I make it dark like that, but yeah, it's, kind of there. It's very hard to see. Can you YouTube spot the Tarantula Nebula? Oh, oh I, I wish. Um, I don't know how to YouTube spot anything, but I don't also... Um, the Tarantula Nebula, I want to say, is in the Southern Hemisphere. I don't have access to it up here in my northern skies. But let me know if I'm wrong, though. I, it's not the first time. And what else we got out here? Anything else? Anything else? Uh, I'll just uh, swing on back over to um, the Orion Nebula. Why? <laughs> Why not? That was so beautiful. Just because we can. Alright, any uh, last requests before I wrap it up? Oh, it's chilly out here. How about uh, Regal, I think is the name of the star. It's uh, another star in the constellation of Orion. Oh, big ol' wind gust. That's it right there. Beautiful, beautiful. We got another star. Ding, ding, dun, dun. And, oh, man. Andromeda is so just above the horizon. I would show you, but I, I think it's just tons of light pollution over in that direction. So, spare you that. <clears throat> we'll swing back over to the Pleiades. And if I... There it is. So I have a very uh, narrow field of view. Not very narrow, but just narrow, so narrow that we can't actually see all of the Pleiades, but here are some of them squiggling around because of that wind, but that's still really cool. I'll try and get some of those four points on there for you. Hello, Christopher, we're just checking out stars. Wait, Christopher, you just joined. Darn it. That means I, I have to go back. I have to go back and show you this. Show you this thing. Oh, wind. It's windy out here, just so you know. Chris, check this thing out. Check 
Just for you, buddy. Alrighty, homies. <clears throat> We're wrapping. I'm wrapping it up. I'm chilly. You gotta go. Actually, hold on. Let me make sure I didn't miss any requests. Whatever I want. <laughs> Hell yeah. Or, heck yeah. Sorry. Awesome. Cool. Man, that is just so pretty. All right, I'm gonna go back to Sirius one last time. Come on, come on. There it is. And we'll end with this big bright star. I increased the exposure all the way. <laughs> that was fun. Alrighty, that's space in a nutshell. <laughs> that's thanks for joining in on me, joining in with me for this tour. I'm gonna go home and take a very hot shower. Love you all. Stay spacey. Keep looking up. Yay! Ah, space. It, it's always waiting for you. It's always